Hey guys, so today I wanted to show you guys how to implement a hover drop down menu in the sense theme in Shopify. So by default on the sense theme, you'll notice we have to click these menu drop downs and so too with these sub drop downs to get them to drop down. And so the outcome of implementing this tutorial you'll see is we just hover over these and they drop down. And so I'm going to make two videos in this series and in the first video we're going to cover how to get these to drop down and also add an option in your Shopify backend for toggling them. And in the second video I'm going to cover now that these are hover drop downs. Uh, how can you make these main menu items or sub drop down items? How can you re-add the clickable link to these? So here we are in our sites admin and the first thing that I want you guys to do before doing anything else is go ahead and click this duplicate theme button here and that's just going to give you a sort of a save point for if you make any mistakes during this tutorial you'll be able to easily revert your site back to that save point and retry. But once you've done that, go ahead and click edit code here. And you'll notice uh, here's all your themes files. Uh, we're going to find the header.liquid file in your sites sections. You can either click on this folder or you can type in header here and click on this file. Once you've navigated to that file, I'm going to go ahead and click this to make it so we can code in full screen here. And I want you guys to navigate all the way down to right before this schema tag here. So I'm going to leave a comment by pressing control or command and then the slash. And that's going to give me this nicely formatted comment. And I'm going to put add hover drop down here. This is obviously optional. We're just notifying ourselves. This is where we've added the hover drop down. Uh, if we ever want to go back and change it. Now you guys are going to go and check the pinned comment on this video and copy the script tag, which should be the first piece of code that I've included in there. And so this script basically just grabs all of our header items and for each item, it's going to add an event listener for when we both mouse over. And after we've done that, we're going to add an event listener for when we mouse out. And on the mouse over, we're going to set this open attribute to true and we're going to set this area expanded to true as well. And we're going to remove those on the mouse out. So after we've saved that, we can navigate back to our site and refresh it. And you'll notice now that the hover drop downs are functioning. So in the second part of this video, what we're going to cover is how can we toggle this and make an option in the store customizer. So if we ever want to turn off this functionality for testing, or if you want to go a different direction with your site, uh, there will be an easy checkbox to click. And just before we do that, one thing to note with this hover dropdown is it does rely upon how you structure your sub menus. So for instance, this sub menu works because this sub item is at the bottom. And um, you can see that when I go up from the sub item, and off of the sub drop down, it closes and we're still on the main drop down. This is also going to work here, this, main, uh, this menu drop down number two, because the sub item is small enough where these two items will make up the dif difference when we mouse off. However, this menu drop down three does not work because when we try to navigate down to item one from sub item two, item one isn't large enough to cover the distance for the uh, sub drop down. So that's just one thing to note. Just be careful of how you're structuring your menus. And so now let's focus on how we can toggle this feature in our customizer. So I'm going to add this liquid logic here. And I'm going to say if section dot settings dot hover, then we're going to do this. And anytime I have an if tag, I obviously need to close the if tag. So we're just going to do that here with an end if. And so both of these pieces of code are in the second portion of the pinned comment on this video. And now we need to actually create this variable in our schema. So I'm going to put it right next to the sticky header, but you can really put it uh, wherever, but I would, I would recommend putting it here just so you, to make sure you're in the same place. I'm going to go ahead and copy paste this, um, but you can copy paste the third piece of code in the pinned comment on this video. Um, and I'm going to change this checkbox is fine. I'm going to change it to be hover. This ID needs to be the same as the ID that you used in the liquid logic. We can default it to be true. That's fine. Our label, um, we actually 
we can get rid of this info here. We don't need this. And our label, uh, we're going to make this the hover label. So we can save that. Now we need to go create this hover label. Now we want to find the schema, default schema file. So mine's English. Uh, if you're using a German site, it would be this D, uh, and likewise for French or any other language. But I'm gonna go ahead and open this. If it opens like this where you can't see any code, just simply refresh the site. And so now that we're in here, I'm gonna search for sticky. And I'm gonna go ahead and open this up in full screen again. Um, and I'm gonna copy paste this as well. Instead of enable sticky header, I'm going to just type hover. I'm gonna get rid of info because we don't need that. And I'm gonna change this to be hover. Now once we've saved, um, I'm gonna open up my online store in the customizer. So now you'll notice when we navigate to this header element in the customizer, there's both enable sticky header here and enable hover here, which was not present before. And so you'll notice with this on, this hover dropdown is still functioning, but if I turn it off, it no longer functions and I have to click on these. So if you guys want these main dropdowns to be clickable and these sub dropdowns to be clickable to navigate you to perhaps you have a collection uh, linked here or some other link here, then go ahead and click the video that should be popping up right about now. Or if you have any problems or questions implementing this, leave a comment down in the description and I'll see you in the next video guys.